Okay, so the first thing you will do is to draft your basic skirt. And this is my basic skirt already draft out. And you can see that it's on fold. Then this is the folded part. Now this is my waist, my hip, and the length of the skirt. Now I use one and a half inches for the size seam. One and a half inches too at the waist area. So what you will do is that from this one and a half inches, you will measure backward one and a half inches. Then to get your pocket mouse, you also measure down six, six and a half inches. So you curve it just as I've done here. You curve from here to this place. The so this place now will be your pocket mouth. Then after you have done this, remember from here to here is my skirt size seam allowance, and from here to here is one and a half inches. So total from here to this place is three inches, and from here, which is from up here to this place, I use six and a half inches because I'm going to remove half an inch here to join to my upper part. Sorry about that. To so join to my upper part. So from here to here is six and a half inches. So now and I curve it this way. So that is what you need for the basic skirt. That is what you need to do on the basic skirt. Then after you have done this, the next thing to do is you get a piece of fabric, which is what I have here. I use the width of 14 inches the depth or the length of 14 inches. So total 14 by 14. That is what I have here. Pieces of fabric 14 by 14. And I cut two of it. So this is two of it. Then you place them right side face each other. Right side face each other. Which is what I have done now. So this is 14 by 14 pieces of fabric right side face in shoulder then you carry your skirt and you place it on top of the pieces then you make sure that is aligned you align it at the side here you make sure that the skirt and the pieces is aligned you make sure that your hip line here it has to be aligned with the pieces here then what you do you cut this place out you cut that is from this curve here you cut, we are not cutting your skirt, so we are cutting the pieces out. So that's exactly what I want to do here now. So I'm going to cut these pieces, this leftover, what I, the excess I have here after placing my skirt on it, I'm cutting it out. So this is it now, I've cut it out. So meaning that these pieces now, that is done, the two pieces together, this is the pieces and this is my skirt. I did not cut my skirt, rather, I align it at the hip area. Then the excess I have here, I cut it out. So that is what you will do. Then after that, you flip the skirt to the other, uh, flip the pieces to the other side. This is the side we just shaped. Now this this other side is where we want to cut again. So you flip it to the other side, just just as what I have done. So when you flip it to the other side, you also do the same thing. You align it just as you align the this other side initially then you align, align it back that is what i have done now again but this time around you will not cut just this place you are going to follow this curve that you cut out before so that is exactly what i want to do so please watch carefully you cut out this curve with that means you are cutting your skirt and the pieces together so you cut out this curve that we created before on the skirt with the pieces but you make sure that the thing aligned at the hip area so this is it now you've cut it out so your skirt and the pieces were cut out together after you cut this other one you flip it but when you want to cut this other side you cut the curve on the pieces skirt with um you cut you cut the curve that you created on the skirt with the pieces so both of them has been cut so this is what we have right now if you play this is the two pieces on my hand this is the two pieces when you place it like this it's going to give you exactly the shape there so that is what we have for that now to get the facing which is that um 
the facing that we have, the different fabric that was on top that we have there. What you will do, this is our skirt and this will be the pocket, right? Now we, we need the facing, which is the colored fabric that is up, that was placed here like this. Now to do that, I'm going to use my shiny face for it. Some people call it doll face, though the doll face has different type. It also has a shiny face too. So this is my shiny face. So what I want to do now is that I will fold it into two like this. Then I also fold my skirt back. I also fold my skirt back into two the way the like the way the skirt was. Then I will place it on it like this just as I've done. I'll place it like this. Oh let's do it this way. Okay. So we we'll place it like this now. Then what I will do is that I'm going to trace out I'm going to I'm going to trace out this this opening. So you trace it out you mark it you mark the opening this way. So once you mark it, you also mark it up on this upper part too. You also, but it is unfold on this place. Then you trace it out this way. Then after you mark it, this is the line that we've cut. This is my skirt. This is the line that I've cut, the curve that I've cut. Then what I want to do, I will remove it. Then I will now measure based on the, what I want. Now, I think I, I will use, um, Two inches, that two inches, or I will use, I will use two inches. I'm going to have half an inch here, and I'm going to remove half an inch here. I'm going to use half an inch to sew on this place. I'm going to use half an inch to turn it in. So in total, I will be marking three inches like this, all round. So I will mark three inches following the curve, three inches, three inches. Three inches, so I will connect it. So this is it for the facing. So I mark the three inches. So by placing it on four this way, I'm already cutting the both side facing for the skirt. So I'll now cut it on this place. I'll cut this place open. Then I'll cut this place as well so that it can be aligned with the skirt now. So this is my facing. Now, opening the skirt up, we have cut all we need for the pocket. Now to sew it, you first of all, this is the facing. This is the facing. This is the facing now. So this is the facing for the skirt. And this is the pocket. Now what you will do first is that you go to your ironing table. You are going to mark half an inch on the facing. Mark half an inch from here to this curve. Then you fold it this way. You mark half an inch. Then this is the wrong side. You fold it like this. Fold it like you can iron your stay on it. You can iron soft stay on it so that it can it it, it not be too light so that it can really stay very firm. So you you mark half an inch and you fold in this half an inch. Then you fold in the half an inch this way. Fold in the half an inch. You fold it all around. Then you are going to stitch on it. You fold it this way. After you finish ironing your stay on, on it, then you fold this half an inch. So let's say we are fold this half an inch like this now. So it will be like this. Then you stitch. You fold it following the curve too. Fold it following the curve. Fold it following the curve. Then you stitch on it from this upper part, which is here. You stitch on it like this. 
stitch on it to this place stitch on it to this place you do the same thing on this other side as well so let's say we have stitch on it now so it's going to be like this looking at it alone you will see that the star is already coming up so it's going to be like this so we have gotten the facing then for us to get the pocket now we'll place this one of these pieces right side facing each other this is the right side of my skirt and this is the right side of my pocket bag so i i will place it on it by the time i do this i've already stitched this on this place but i will not stitch this place yet so it is when i'm putting my pocket bag that i'm going to stitch them together so in total they will be three in this place i'm going to stitch together so i'll place them right side face each other i'll place it this way then i'm going to stitch on this place half an inch so when i finish stitching on it then i will flip it to the other side i'll flip it to the wrong side so let's pin it and see how it's going to look like just like as if i have already sewn it so we are going to imagine that i've already sewn it i'm going to pin it and we are going to imagine that i've already sewn it right so let's pin it now this is it so i'm going to pin it by half an inch as if i've already sewn it so you you are going to sew it following the way i'm pinning it if you follow all the step you will not have issue at all everything will be in line so this is it now you stitch on it this way then after stitching on it then you flip it to the wrong to this other side remember by that time you will have stitched on this place so let's pin this place too to to show that i've already sewn it as well let's imagine that I've sewn it too. So I, I'm going to get a pin now. To pin it too. We'll also pin this place as well. Then you flip it now to this to the wrong side. Then when you flip it to the wrong side, it's going you're going to have it this way. Then you make sure you iron it very flat. Hmm? You iron it very flat. Then, when you flip it to this other side, you take it again. You take it this way and flip it up. Make it in a half. Fold it in, in, in a half, half way. You flip it up to this other side, this way. So, you see what I have here? This is the pocket now, pocket bag now. So, you stitch, you hold it like this. The way, the damp part, you hold it like Because this place is now, is now already folded you don't need to stitch on this place again so you are going to hold this place that means you hold it like this not stitch it with your skirt you hold it like this and you stitch this place with quarter of an inch you stitch this place close then you turn it to the right side again when you turn it to the right side here you have your pocket piece and you have your your normal measurement back and this is your pocket and this is your pocket mount i don't know if you understand it please if you if you don't if you don't understand if you have any question feel free to ask so this is your pocket mount so you don't need to worry about this place by the time you place the your back skirt on top you you cannot take in your half a, your one and a half inches size seam that you've added you take it this way like this and stitch it to the damp part in that way by the time you finish stitching it your pocket is ready and all of this place is neatly finished i hope you understand how um all the process that we have done here and i'll show you that if you follow this process you will not miss anything at all you will get your skirt perfectly the pocket fits perfectly thank you so much for watching and if you have any question to ask please feel free to ask